Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Right. Now, apart from this, there are many airships which have been made by students like you. Some from outside IIT Bombay, some from inside IIT Bombay. And I thought it's a good idea to quickly have a look at these student projects. So, the first such project was done in 2004 by uh, a group of students who were given KVPY summer internship in IIT Bombay under my supervision. So, there were these four students. And these four students, what they did is they went to the Y Pond Gate, they purchased a can of Coca Cola, okay. They enjoyed the Coke and then they cut it and made it into a gondola, okay. Uh, no, the gondola is basically a plastic burden, sorry. The gondola is basically a plastic container, surf XL container. Uh, and uh, the two shrouds for the motors are Coke bottles, the large, large Coke bottle. And they made a swivelable system, okay. So, you can see this, this whole system of two motors can actually be swiveled by remote control. And uh, then they did a small demonstration of this flight in front of our uh, department in the place which is now completely cemented with car parking. That was an open space at that time. You can see it is all grass there. So, this is what they did. Let us see. Then subsequently they were invited by other colleges, other institutes. So, there is, a, there is an institute called Ayuka in Pune. So, they every year they have a, a national science day on 28th February. So, these students were invited by Ayuka to go and demonstrate their airship. So, this is Ayuka campus, some kind of a small fire there in which uh, you see Rahul Sangole is the name of the student. He is uh, trying to maneuver this small oblate sporoid envelope. Bring it down. Very pretty. So, you can see that they can fill the motors to create, yeah, this is vertical thrust now. So, you can, they can swivel the motors to give directional force and they can also swivel it vertically to give uh, vertical thrust uh, to that. So, these four students uh, made this and then uh, some of them came back again next year for their BTEC project. Uh, and uh, for the BTEC project, they made this uh, capsule airship. Basically, nothing special about it except that the shape is like a capsule. Now, because it is an indoor airship, therefore, there is no need to put any aerodynamic surfaces. They would be anyway ineffective at low speeds. Okay. So, by the time you deflect the surfaces and the half rho v square is so less that the force generated is very small. So, you can completely control the trajectory of an indoor airship by electrical motors. So, if you use a spherical envelope, you will get the least surface area for a given volume. But spherical envelope also has very large drag and also it has got much larger, I mean diameter is equal to the length, L by D is equal to 1. So, these smart people said, why not go for a combination of a cylinder with two spherical caps? or a capsule. It gives you sufficient length so that the motor mounted behind can give you side force which a sphere cannot plus it gives you very good volume to surface area ratio. Okay. That should be high because you would like to have high volume for uh, given uh, for given surface area because surface area means weight, self weight and volume means lift or buoyant force. So, they came up with this design and then they also went all over the place to look for material. And then they found a company which makes packaged food. You must have seen nowadays we have these ready made foods, right. Uh, the famous brands are uh, MTR, 
Uh, so, they say take this packet and put it in boiling water or put it in a microwave and food is ready and all that. They are packed in a special silver foil and these guys discovered that that silver foil is low weight, it can hold helium very well and it is also able to take loads plus it can be heat sealed. Now, what more do you want? You can join it properly, it can hold the gas. So, they bought one big roll of that particular food packaging material and the guys were wondering what are they doing with food packaging material, but they were able to get it. There is a slight problem with this system also, it is a little bit uh, difficult to inflate because wrinkles are very hard in this, but they managed to fabricate an airship with this. Let us see their demo. And uh, for the students of my department, I want you to guess what is the location of this demonstration. So, guess Kero, where is this being tested? Okay, so you have a swivelable, swivelable motor and then you also have on the back a yaw motor which gives you direct side force, it is a reversible yaw motor. Could you guess where is it being tested? Structures lab, correct. Now there are built partitions there, so our flying area is reduced slightly. But uh, the good thing about Structures Lab is that it has got a huge double story space. And uh, students, being students, they work mostly in the night. This was at 2 in the night, 2 a.m. So they said, if you give us permission for Structures Lab in the night time, we will be using it for our testing. So the entire project was tested in the Structures Lab at night. You might say it is a very slow flying vehicle, what is the big deal, but ok. Speed is not very important here. Important point is imagine there is an exhibition going on, Pragati Madan New Delhi, there is a big exhibition going on, there is a huge hall and you have this capsule, Sipla brings you some new medicine, just flying in the air. You do not need to fly fast, you want people to notice you, you want people to read what is written on that. So, it is fantastic. Very good, uh, one can make good amount of money with this simple internal uh, internal or uh, indoor airship. Okay. So, that is what uh, was the mandate for them. Uh, it is it's very, very maneuverable, huh? it can do even spot turns. For example, if you, can turn video, you can see it can turn on the spot if needed. So, powerful is your motor. Spot turn with a power flight. Okay, and we want a very simple control system which can go for reversal of controls. Now, uh, one way is that you go for a reversible speed controller. ESCs for those of you who have worked on remote control systems, they are expensive, they are also unreliable. So, what these guys did is at that time they did not get a chance to buy, so they did this very simple. This shows the construction of the switch for your motor direction control. This is a servo motor which is connected to a, the white shaft. There are in all six contacts, four yeah. of them are fixed, is a white shaft. and two of them connected to the white shaft are movable contacts. The fixed contacts are connected uh, in a cross fashion, you, which is seen with the blue wires and the red wires. You can see the blue wires are cross and the red wires are also cross. This is the speed controller. These two wires are connected to the movable contacts, which go as inputs to the motor. 
the speed controller is connected in the alternate fashion to the fixed contacts. Okay, so these kind of things. Uh, now Rahul Songhole now now he uh, now he works for G. He works for Cummins in US. Uh, I think uh, Shailesh Agashe works for G. He is making wa washing machines now. Uh, Gaurav Nakanekar continued to do masters in IIT Bombay in mechanical department. Okay. So, these people have done a good piece of job. Now, let us look at some other students. Okay. Now, this is the blimp which was developed by students of Texas A&M University. I visited the university for two months in uh, June and July of 2011. So, my mandate was to kick start LTA activities in Texas A&M because uh, interestingly how it came about is very, very inspiring. So, a professor from the university who is uh, Indian origin professor, uh, Professor Girimaji, he comes to India regularly, he came recently also. So, I remember in 2009, he came to IIT Bombay, he gave a talk and then he comes to me and says, you know, I have a slight problem, I want to keep my suitcases somewhere because I have to vacate the guest house and I have an evening flight and I want to meet you also. So, he came to my lab to keep suitcases. At that time, there were some kids making a small blimp, they were testing the controls. He was fascinated, he said, who are these guys? I said, these are undergraduate students, they have a design lab and they are making a small blimp. So, he says, you mean to say these people are going to make an aircraft? I said, yeah, they will fly it very soon, you want to see a flight? He said, yes. So, they went and they flew it for him. He was amazed. He said, I want the same thing in Texas A&M. I have money, but I don't have people who can do this. Can you come to Texas A&M? I said, why not? So, during one summer when I had a chance, I went there and uh, this is what we did. So, we made a small blimp in Texas A&M and uh, let me show you a demo of uh, the flight. So, you will notice that there is a lecture hall. So, we gave a lecture on LTA systems, all these blah, blah applications, etc. We flew this blimp inside because it is a big hall. And then we did a small demonstration flight outside, okay, just to save some time. Um, so this this person in the front is a faculty member. Uh, oops, sorry. So this student called Jacob was a PhD student at that time. And this is Jacob's mother. She came just to see what Jacob is up to during summer. Okay. <laughs> so mothers everywhere are looking at what their kids are doing, even though they are doing PhD. Okay. And uh, just to save some time, let's see. Jacob is doing some setting up. Okay. So you can see this particular blimp has got a swivelable, two swivelable motors on a gondola. And these uh, these lights that you see are only for fun no technical application, you just to create some excitement in the night. Okay. This is a very small blimp and there is also a very interesting story about this blimp. So, when we designed this whole thing, we came to a point that now where do we make it? Because Texas A&M does not have a machine to fabricate this blimp. So, I called up various blimp makers in the US and I said, I have come from India, I am here for 4 weeks, 5 weeks. Uh, I have designed the blimp, can you fabricate it for me? So, they said, uh, yeah, you give us the design, we will get it fabricated, but it will take three weeks. So, I said, why three weeks? In IIT, we do it in a couple of days, this can be made. They said, no, 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 we have a problem. When the design is made by you and given to us, we have to send it to India, because the fabricating agency is in Hyderabad. So, they will make the blimp envelope and mail it back to us. Okay. So, it will take a week to go, a week to make, a week to come back. And then they said one week for delivery. I said, hang on, I do not have four weeks. So, then I said, I am coming to California for sightseeing. Can I come and pick it up from your factory? He said, yeah, that we can do. So, I went to California for <coughs> sightseeing and while coming back, I got this in the aircraft with me. So, this is the situation, I mean blimps in the US are being made in India, uh, of course try blimps like this, but there are also fabric suppliers in India who are supplying fabric to US companies. We recently had a meeting with 
a supplier who is based in uh, Ville Parle. And during discussion, they said, yeah, we supply this material to so many BIM companies in the world. So the technology is available in the country. It's very easy for us to use it. It will be much cheaper for us to do this. Okay. Our own department, we have this festival. There is a next one happening in the month of March. Every year we have this festival and over the last few years we have been flying blimps in that. Uh, so we made one special blimp using a new material that was given to us by the manufacturer for 2003. And again, this was a part of a BTEC project by uh, Sayyam, Sayyam's BTP. And it was matching because uh, the fire takes place in February, March and the BTPs are ending in April. So by February or so his blimp was ready. You can see this is a simple experiment to determine the net gross lift. So you tie the balloon to the weighing machine and it tells you what is the weight which is coming because of the buoyancy. So it's 1000 grams of net lift. The challenge now is to make everything else within 1000 grams. The controller, the battery, the gondola, the fins and the three motors. They all have to fit within 1000 grams. That is the technical challenge when designing. LTS systems. Okay, so we made these things. First, we did some testing from thermocol, thermocol gondola, and then uh, and then we did uh, some flying. Okay, so you can see the indoor testing is happening in the structures lab, same place which we visited recently for the capsule airship. Now we will visit that place for uh, having a look at uh, this uh, black airship. Now this is a very simplistic gondola, just a thermocol box cut into a few pieces to accommodate the various systems because we were heavily, heavily weight critical. The challenge here was to do one complete circuit around that central pillar in the structure lab without hitting the wall. So you can see there is a yaw motor and there is a forward motor. And we just missed the wall. So the systems are a bit sluggish when they are indoors because wind does not help them out. Uh, however, we can still manage by careful design. Now, uh, let me show you, for those of you who were not there, this is a, a small demo we did as part of the Zafir festival in 13. Dr. V. K. Saraswat, who was at that time the DRDO chief, he was the chief guest of this program. And in the Gymkhana fire, we have flown this particular airship. This is Sayyam with the controls. Highly maneuverable because of the yaw motor. It can do almost a spot turn and in the small space of VMCC fire, we are able to fly. Sometimes we also go outside the fire and come back inside. One more thing I want you to see, maybe it's not there in this video. Uh, if it comes, I'll show you. Very important to note how forgiving these systems are. See, the vertical tail is bent. And now you see the airship goes. Ah, they have done the editing of that particular clip look like. 